Okay, so hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial while I talk to you about life and stuff. I did a life update not that long ago, um, but I thought, why not just do another one but include makeup? Um, not a lot has actually been happening, but, you know, it's just nice to do these videos and I know some people like when I do makeup tutorials. So I'll go down and through every product and stuff um, and just, yeah, just go along like, oh, no hiccups, just go along like that. Obviously this isn't the makeup that I would normally wear, this is just a kind of bolder, bigger makeup kind of thing. Um, and if you didn't know, today is Saturday, I don't know why I'm saying if you didn't know. Today is Saturday the 7th of November. So we are officially in lockdown again. This time I'm not shielding, which is really good, which means I can um, go and meet up with one person um, and keep distance to go on a walk or whatever, which is really nice. Um, and I can still go to school, which is really good. So I just sorted out my eyebrows, but I'm going to conceal my eyelids with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in shade Porcelain. Um, now this is really really good, definitely recommend it. It's a bit on the expensive side, I would say, um, because this is the most I've ever spent on a product. Yeah, this is the most I've ever spent on a makeup product. But I've had this for over a year and it's still going strong, um, but you only need a little bit. So let's start applying it. Okay, so what I do is I get my, my I don't know what brush it is, this brush, flat brush, and just start going underneath the eyebrow like I'm not the great at explaining what I'm doing and then you just go like that you just basically just blend it um so yeah I'll talk to you about it while I do this so I'm back at school now which is fun I've got my exams in a few weeks which is not fun like mock exams and I'm so, so, so not looking forward to them. But I've been doing like loads of work. Like I'll come home from school and I'll do like a few hours of work, have dinner, then do work till I go to bed. Like I'm literally like non-stop. Um, just because I'm catching up on work. I'm finishing homework. And like there's just so much to do and not a lot of time to do it all. Um, so I've been doing that which has been really fun, but it's been really stressful as well because obviously if you're in year 11, you know you have your core subject, core subjects, or like in school anyway, um, your core subjects are English, maths and science, and then you have options. Now, I won't go fully into that because for those, I've asked people to ask me some questions and some people's asked me questions on it. Um, so my non-core subjects are putting quite a bit of pressure on me to do well in that exam even though i don't need it i need my core subject so what i've done is i've dedicated hours a certain amount of hours to each of my core subjects obviously chemistry biology physics um english maths um and for my non-core i've dedicated half an hour or half an hour to an hour depending on what the task is also i'm using talcum powder as a powder which I think it looks really nice and it's a way cheaper version than buying powder. Obviously I do use powder sometimes, but on my eyelids I tend to just use talcum powder because it gives off a nice finish. And then I get my big brush and just go over it and make sure there's nothing left on it. There we go, so now that that's eye primers, I'm going to do that eye and then I'll be back with you because it's pointless watching me do the same thing. Okay guys, sorry if it's in a side position, my iPad fell. So, I've done both sides, so now, now I want to do the eyeshadow. Now I did have this certain one I was going to do, but I don't think I'm going to do it now. Where is it going? That one. I'll do something like similar to it, so I'll do like brown, because I love brown eyes. But um, we'll, have, we'll, we'll have a little play around. So... This is the Revolution palette. I don't know, it doesn't have a certain name and as far as I'm aware. But I, this was my first ever eyeshadow palette and I still use it. So 
I do love that. But I'm going to be taking these two shades at the top to begin with. Um, the first one is just to add some impact colour to my lips, obviously, because you just I concealed it, so get rid of some of the colour in them. And just bringing that up slightly. I'm using an angled brush. Um, I use an angle brush to do the light colour. And then kind of blend that in. Um, just like that. Then I'm going to take the next dark one and just tap it a little bit. And then just put it on the edge. Actually, no, I'm not going to tap it. And just bring it into the outside bit and just blend it in with the rest of it. And then afterwards, like, you don't realise how many eyeshadows you actually use when you do makeup. And then I'm going to use this shade here at the bottom, this light brown one, just dab that one in slightly. Definitely burn that one off because it is quite dark. And just put that one on the edge as well. And blend it. Blend it up as well. So just, you just blend in all the colours, I do really. Um and then and then and then I'm going to get the purple shade next to it and just bring a little bit of that there to begin and then bring it up slightly and blend it into the inside of my lid and just all around it and then We'll cut the crease. So I use two different brushes to cut the crease. I use this tiny one and this one that's similar to the one I use to conceal my eyelid. I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer again. You don't actually need a lot, it's quite fringy, but I think I've got too much. Yeah, I've got a bit too much. But it depends how you like your cut crease. I haven't done a cut crease in ages. So you just bring in this product about where you want it and then you go over with this brush just to make sure it's all smoothed out and there's no like unblended bits and I get this brush again and go in with the first shade that I went in with and just go in the corner like that with it basically just go around the cut crease and then I'm going to get this brush I don't know the names of them get these like reds in the pan put them on they're not really red like really a tad bit but it blends in with the browns and then the next one this one's a bit more ready then the next one and then I'm going to get the highlighted shade at the top of the pan dab some of that on there and boom we're done So I'm going to do you the eye and I'll be back with you. Okay guys, so I um, I just did finish my eyes off camera um, and I added some eyeliner on like the inside of my eye. It's from the beauty parlour. Um, I highlighted from my um, Revolution palette and I used the model's own mascara. Um, so now I'm going to prime my face with the W7 Prime Magic. I did moisturise before the video, um, so I'm going to prime.
So I primed off camera because um, it's just easier, it's a bit of a boring process. But I'm going to do foundation, as I normally do. Um, I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to answer some of the questions that I got. Oh, so this one, I'm not a really massive fan of this bit. So what I do is I roll it up so the product comes out. Get this brush. And you just do that. That is a lot. <laughs> um, but someone asked me favorite movies. Well, last night I watched Hangover Two. Now I watched Hangover. Well, started watching Hangover One like a week ago, but I fell asleep. And I didn't fall asleep. I went upstairs to go to bed because I was so tired. Um, so I really enjoyed Hangover One. That one was really good. I don't really have favourites. I have a favourite series, which is obviously Friends, because I have a slight obsession with it. But I don't have favourite movies. I have movies that I like. Um, what's another one that I like? Um, I literally cannot remember. But yeah. I like to see you do a galaxy makeup video. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, yeah, that could be a possibility for the future to do a galaxy one. It'll probably just be eyeshadow. It won't be like actual drawings of things. Because I've not got the drawing skills to do that. Um, yeah. How's school going for you? School's okay, it's a bit stressful, like I said earlier, but it's it's not too bad, like, you can get through it. I'm in year 11, so it's already like a stressful year, and then to add COVID and missing loads of school on top of that is, is very stressful, but I'm getting stuff put in, like things, I've got things in place to help me and stuff, I haven't put my headband in. Oh, let me just put my headband in. But yeah, it's a little bit stressful. Obviously, um, school is stressful. But you know what? We can we can get through this. We can do it. We can achieve the grades that I need. And yeah, just get on to do my dream job. Right. What subjects did you take for GCSE? I took geography, business studies, performing arts. Well, it was drama, but they've changed it to performing arts because there wasn't enough to do music and drama. And what was the other one that I took? Food technology. Now, I have dropped business studies um, because of the amount of time that I missed off school. It's just so, so, so stressful to do it all and business studies is such a quick paced um quick paced topic thing that it will just be way too much to do that i used the wrong brush for my foundation which is this one oops that one's my concealer um but yeah it's business studies was just a bit too hard for me considering like it wasn't hard when i first started doing it um but it was hard to catch up on work that's one of the things that I did really find difficult. So I've dropped that one now. Food technology is good. I'm gonna use my concealer. Uh, food technology is good. Um, I'm basically, oh, that's not too good. I'm basically all caught up in it. Um, so that's always an extra bonus. Um, so, yeah, geography, it's okay. Um, I'm not a massive fan of it, to be fair, but it, it's good. Like, I'm learning some things. Obviously, I miss some things, but I need to really teach myself it. But I am obviously need to focus on my core subjects. So it's a mixture of what to do in that situation. Um, and then, what's the other one? 
performing arts. I'm not a massive fan of it. It's all right. It's not a favourite. Um, but I just know that I'm not going to do very well in it. But I don't need it. So that doesn't really matter. Um, let's have a look. Ooh, I'm using the... I forgot to say it. Revolution Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. I'm using the that one. Um, how do you cope with school and physio? So I have a physio session on the eleventh um, to. Actually, I won't say what it is. Um, I have a physio session on the 11th. So what I'll do is I've emailed the teachers which subjects I'm going to miss. And then I'm going to catch up on that work at home. So I just, if I know I'm going to miss a lesson or a few lessons, I'll email the teacher and ask for it to be email to me or worksheet to be given to me so I can catch up on it and don't miss any of it um so that's really what I do it's it's not fun doing it at home but I've got relevant help when I need it and stuff so that's all that really matters I'm just gonna bake with talcum powder because I don't know where my powder is normally I don't use talcum powder on my face all the time you know what, I'm not going anywhere, so it's fine. I can have a little bit of wash back. Um, but yeah, if I know I'm going to miss a subject or a few subjects, just email the teacher. Uh, is it work? Pass over. Um, does it... Oh, I've got enough for my study. Um, is your school wheelchair accessible? Yes, it is. It's apart from one of the mobiles outside. That's the only place that I cannot... Well, I can go into the classroom. It's just a lot tighter to get through the door and stuff. So the le I had one lesson in there, which has now been moved. So the school are really good. I'm just going to put this all over my face for a sec. And then I'm wipe it off. Um, yeah, so my whole school is wheelchair accessible. I know some people going through the same journey as me do not get that type of thing, uh, like places to be accessible, but mine is fully accessible, um, which I'm very, very grateful for. Um, but yeah, I look a bit, a bit like a ghost. Get some colour back in me, mate. No, I'm just going to dip that in there and kind of put way too much on. That didn't happen. Um, but yeah. And then I'm just going to put lip balm on. Just checking. That's the rest of the, that's all the questions. Um, I couldn't say that. Put some lip balm on. And we are done. So, I really hope, I re oh. really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, make sure you like and subscribe and follow my social medias in the description. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.